So I'm going to jump here in, into the mat area now and start building our shaders, right? So we need one for the uh, chocolate, one for the caramel, one for the dark chocolate, one for the ice cream underneath, um, a separate shader for the wood, the handle, and one for the backdrop as well. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six in total. So I'll just quickly drop an Arnold Material Builder. I'll jump inside and drop a surface, standard surface. We'll use probably use the same for all of them. Connect that up, jump back out, and then just copy these. So Alt, click one, two, three, four, five, six, and then let's name them. I can call this chocolate, dark chocolate, this one caramel, oops, caramel, caramel, this one ice cream, well, let's put uh, wood. And uh, backdrop. Okay, so I'm gonna just give these some um, very quick colors so that we can see in the render that you know they're all assigned correctly. So I'm just gonna give this some kind of brown and this some kind of darker brown, like that. And by no means will these be the you know. The last of the uh, the colors, ice cream, some kind of white, or you know, I don't know, and off white like that. The wood, something similar. Um, a bit more beige. There we go. Backdrop. Um, I don't know. Black. Let's do a dark gray for the moment. Cool. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and assign these up to our geometry. So I'll jump back into my OBJ level. Le uh, level. Uh, we can do the backdrop first. So in this case, we've only got one geometry in here, so we can just connect it up here. Go into my uh, render tab and into mat and find backdrop. Oops, accept. There we go, we've got the material on there. Ice cream, we've got two separate parts, right? So I'll come in and we'll take, I think we have two separate groups here. Let me just see. If we come into the selection tool, press nine. And let's see if we've got groups. So maybe I'll, I'll give them my own group names just to be more clear, right? So um, let's see, I'll drop a group node. Again, before moving, make sure the uh, padlock is not um, turned on. And then if we come into base group, click on this triangle. And then whatever we select here will generate the group for us. Now press nine, prayer, and then 3D connected connectivity. I'll select that, press enter, call this uh, wood. Okay, and then I'll make another. Delete these. So let press uh, click this button again. Come back into the viewport. Seems to be doing something weird. Uh, there we go. Select the top part. Press Enter. Call this. Oops. Uh, ice cream. Make sure we have a, an underscore between the two. Ice cream, great. And then material node. Okay, the group ice cream, the material ice cream. And we can just add, we don't need to make another one, just make another tab there. Group wood and material wood. So that's the ice cream, good to go. I press nine on my with the cursor in this area. Okay, let's get rid of that. And now finally let's do the ice cream. 
So we've already got our groups generated here. Ah, oh, sorry, not groups. We need a material node. Just move up to have a look. Well, in fact, we won't see anything until we render anyway. But caramel, take the caramel. Um, chocolate with chocolate. And dark chocolate with dark chocolate. There we go. So I believe that's all of our shaders connected up perfectly. So let's head into the out area, okay, which is where we do all of our rendering um, tasks, right? So we need an, it's not in the Arnold part here for some reason, in render Arnold, or you can just tab and start typing Arnold. Okay, so there we go, we've got our Arnold ROP rendering operator. So in candidate objects, this star means that it will render anything with the visualizer on, which can be a bit dangerous. So in this case, it would be correct, right? We'd be rendering all of these, the camera and light, obviously it doesn't matter. But if you're working here, you know, you're going back and working on the emitters, for, for example, and you, you have this display on, then it, it will render. So a good way to avoid that is to use this forced objects, get rid of this star, First objects, click on that, and then if we come to filter here and just type render as all of what we want to render set, um, has render at the beginning, create, not creates, not in filters, yeah, in filter and press enter on that, and it will just select these, accept pattern, and they should pop in there, why not? Let's try that again. Ah. If we just select, we need to select them. There we are. Accept pattern, and there they are dropped in there. Got our the correct camera. We've only got the one light, so we can just leave the star there. Whichever light is active will light our scene. Uh, the resolution we'll look at later. So let's take a look. See what we get from that. Is you know, here's one I did earlier. let's see if we can uh, when when it comes out pink like that it's because there's no shader applied there we are so considering I just dropped those shaders on there without doing anything it doesn't look too bad actually so let's take a look at the light a minute and just try see if we want to rotate that a bit we can play with because I can have quite a bit of an effect rotated by around the y-axis you know um i don't know 45 that's quite nice drop it down a bit 40. you press h on the spacebar it will show you it's in full resolution Great, okay, so I think next we can move on to um, the shaders and get these looking, looking good.